Okay, okay, here we are. I am back once again. And I always say I have a really exciting show planned for us today, and I typically do. Um, but today I'm, I'm, I'm especially happy to be hosting one of the newest members of the Sales and Orders family, Nick E. Beer. What's up, girl? How we doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm applauding for myself. Like there's supposed to be like sound effects or like air horns or something like that. <laughs> I could put some. I could put some applause. I could put some applause in here. Certainly, no problem. Nikki, you are uh, you're you're one of our uh, account specialists here over at Sales and Orders. You help uh, our some of our customers and our users uh, uh, successfully manage their advertising campaigns across Google, Bing, you know, even getting into feeds and everything along those lines. But I mean, first of all, you look fantastic. It, it, you, I love the background, love the look, everything. You, you, it it just is, it's screaming. Everything's going to be okay, you know. Well, that's what life is. Like, I know we're in like a pandemic, but um, what doesn't kill you make you stronger and you make the best out of a situation. How is everything going on over by you? How's everything? I know you, I know you're married. How are you, how are you doing? How your, how's your husband doing? Um, yeah, we're, we're doing good. Uh, we're both working from home. So we're in a small confined space in the city. So we're both, I'm a city girl. Uh, so we are in like this, probably 1800 square feet apartment um all open space and uh we kind of have to coordinate calls so that way i'm not overlapping with his and he's not overlapping with mine we share the living room space the dining space we have one desk so and uh like where i am right now is what in our living room where i have a yoga mat and we do our little exercises in between to keep ourselves like moving Awesome. Um, awesome. Making them honestly the best of the situation. I mean, we are not getting quarantine gains at all. <laughs> no <laughs> ounces. We're going to get out of this. Um, it was so funny. One of my best friends sent us a meme and was like, oh, I guess the gyms are closed. So this summer it's going to be about personality. I'm like, no, I'm getting cut up. We're going to do this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I kept, I kept thinking, people either are going to get really fit or really fat at this point, you know? Um, it's just to what to, what's to be expected and everything along those lines. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, it, it, it looks like it looks, I, I love the positivity. I, I love that you're staying strong and everything like that. Um, you know, I've gotten to talk to a lot of our staff. I've, I've just started talking to some of our partners and some of our, uh, some of our friends and in, in, in other industries. Um, but I haven't gotten obviously, and, and, you know, everybody out there, like Nikki's brand new. She's just, just joined in. Um, and literally like try this for crazy. You were, were you were in the office for like, what about like a week maybe. And then all of a sudden, in the, <laughs> uh, for a month. <laughs> I'm over exaggerating. It's called hyperbole. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> I was in there for a month. Um, I did most of my, actually I did, I think all of my training in the, in the building, which was great because I was able to lean on my team and I was able to know the team, which actually gives me a great foundation to working right now. Um, and you're, oh, you know, the team very well too. You know, the, the vibe that that's in the office is nowhere yep. near home. No, no, it's, um, it's a, it's a completely different world once you, when, when you're in there. Um, but tell me what that, what was that like? What was that like, you know, being, you know, being there for a month and got, getting to interact with everybody and everything. Obviously we're still wide open. Everybody's still interacting. We're having our, 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 our weekly, you know, you're having your daily meetings from what I understand. Um, mm -hmm. What was it like making that, that transition? I mean, it must've been very weird for you. And I can't imagine, I can only imagine there must be so many people out there that may have gone through a very similar situation as you. Well, uh, just a little about me is that my background is still in marketing. I've always been in marketing for five years now. And um, I did, went through all the spaces of uh, like uh, TV and radio um, and print. And then that's like the traditional marketing. And then we also have the digital marketing, which is our space morally. And that's where you're going into the Google, the bang, all the digital platforms, Facebook and what's not. So um, going from like even that space to our company is a huge difference. And like uh, 
I think like it was the first when I got into work, it was the first time I actually had lunch with my coworkers. And it, it was like the weirdest thing if you weren't there. It was like I was like it was like okay and like uh even like um they do like snapple facts where you had they put yeah. like a jeopardy question of like what the snapple fact is and you have to guess it. And it was cool. Like everybody was interacting. It was more than just, it was more than just work. It was more than just clients. And, um, it was about like, honestly caring about like, they knew each other's wives on a first name basis. They, the wives know them back on a first name basis. Um, it, it was, it's a crazy interaction on that. It's, it's, that's, that was my weirdest thing. I was like, wow, they eat lunch together and <laughs> coming now from, you know, before this job and within the last five years in the working industry, I had so much work and I wouldn't even take lunch. I would just sit at my desk, eat lunch and work, eat lunch and work. And this gives you a break. Like, you know, you get that mental headspace and go right back into it. Awesome. Awesome. So what, and, and working from home is, is what been, how, what kind of transition was that for you? I mean, obviously oh. you're, you, you and your husband have to figure out that and, and nobody knows this, but you have mm -hmm. to reschedule on me like, like 40 times today. Um, one time, <laughs> one time, yo, you are the king of exaggerating. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Mr. Hyperbolic. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had it, we had an earlier call about two hours and um, my husband has a call every now and then, but it's not as crazy as much as I have calls with my clients or I have calls in my team. So I give him the respect of like, hey, if it's possible, I can change it. I'll do that. Um, other than that, it's, uh, we have like, I have the TV going and we're just stuck in our zones. And, you know, once in a while we'll surface up and like check in like, hey, how you doing? Let me get you a cup of water some tea you want lunch now do you want later like and then just dive right back in that's awesome i mean i and, and there's got to be plenty um, obviously there's plenty of people out there that are, that are in the same boat as you you know uh you're you're in your you're in your op even in your open space apartment and you and your husband share an office um and that whole dynamic sounds fun but at the same time i can only imagine how stressful it might be for somebody like what are some of your top tips or advice for working with your significant other in a very crammed up space when you can't go outside. <laughs> I mean, you guys must be getting much closer. Well, he, <laughs> I mean, we have, uh, he understands now my conversations at work. Uh, he under, like understands what I do more and I'm beginning to understand what he does. Um, my husband works for a health insurance company, so they are dealing with the pandemic on wow. insurance days and um, he gets like direct claims like from the state and from the government. So it's a different view on his end. Um, and then like when we do side conversations, we'll have like uh, like his brother, who's a twin, um, his girlfriend is in, is a PA at Elmer's Hospital. So we kind of like talk about with his brother because we're trying to like, you know, it's a sad time. My sister is on the front line as a nurse. And we what? did this whole thing with my parents yesterday where we tied yellow ribbons next to the car, like where she parks to give like our frontliners the support Aww. that she has. And um, I was actually commending my mom yesterday because she says every day, as soon as she comes in, she takes her clothes off, puts it in a bag. She, my mom goes immediately and washes it for her, a dark and a white, because it's like two different colors. Um, and she bleaches the whites and she does this own separate for the dark. And then my mom bleaches all the doors and the walls and everything, bathrooms, everything, all the way through when she's done taking a shower, every single day that she works. So um, that's uh, uh, like a kind yeah, of like, just to keep the family safe. Yeah, my mom, because she my sister lives with my mom. So it's like uh, just to have that support uh, that's like anybody who's dealing with it on there and like just give as much support as you can um, because they, they're not, they don't want this as much as we don't want it, right? Like we didn't ask for this, but we're just trucking it true just like you and me. Yep. Yep. I hear you. Oh, I hear actually, you. never mind. Not like you and me. They're definitely taking the hard hit. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's relative to your experience. You know, it's uh, you, yeah. your experience is relative to you and your, you know, and your husband, obviously, uh, it's relative mm -hmm. to me over here. Uh, you know, still two young kids. 
Um, my wife is always, uh, who's, who's, who's took over and took care of our, you know, took care of the kids and, and, and it still works from home. Uh, or it's, you know, obviously cause she, yeah, that's her job, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, it, no, and, but your wife's weird. not supposed to be like a teacher and stuff too. So that no, so but, must be hard on the parents. side. Well, it's, it's interesting because we just, um, we were just having, we were just talking about this, uh, yesterday and how, um, with uh, our first son, it was very much that we were also teachers as much as we were parents. And we, mm-hmm. you know, actively taught our son things. And with my second son, uh, we haven't had to do that because he's learning so much from his big brother and the experiences that we're having at home and, and everything. And he's, and, and it's incredible. because so we're watching him develop and grow and learn at, at this incredibly fast pace in comparison to the way that my first son learned, which makes a lot of sense with everything that's going on, but the way that he's reacting to things, how quickly, I mean, just like I said, he's, um, I was saying uh, not too long ago, it's like he, he, he climbs all the way up to the second floor of the house. And if, if you leave the gate open, all of a sudden you hear like clackety clack of toys upstairs. Um, and it's just like what these, what, what, what's going on right now is, is changing everybody. It's changing infants all the way up into adults, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, aside from everything that's going on, obviously, everything like that, you've been working with uh, uh, customers, you've been working, you, you know, you've been in the marketing space, you've been doing this for quite some time, obviously. Um, it, you know, I don't know if you had been working with e-commerce before. I know you had some experience in it, but um, have, w- with, with everything that's going on, everything like that, and, and some of the customers you're working with right now, some of the things that like you've been seeing or some of the things that you've been doing to help them kind of... Uh, break through some of what's going on you know any trends or things like that that you're seeing um well we do like my clients are are on a steady pace um like we like i have some clients that are falling and some clients that are thriving uh it's also like i think julie said it uh just like you know navigating through the search terms and making sure that our clients and our products are relevant um, making sure that it's in the right, in front of the right audience. Cause as much as, uh, people are not at work, um, some are working from home and, and they are still searching and just waiting as much as me and you to get back out in the real world. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. There's been, uh, and, go ahead. And, and what about you on your end? Like, are, you're getting it too, right? You're seeing, you're, you're part of our team as much as I am. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I, I've been seeing it. I'm, I, I seeing it, obviously I see it on, on an extremely aggregate level, uh, being, uh, being head of our marketing department, I'm able to, you know, I, I really have to assess shopper behavior before I assess retailer behavior. Cause I, I want to understand what shoppers are doing right now. Um, and there's been, there's been a, a substantial influx for certain businesses, uh, indoor training equipment. Obviously I see your kettlebells, uh, right next to you over there. <laughs> um, and I know you're sitting on a yoga mat, for example, I, the, those industries are, are, are exploding right now. Um, and it's funny yeah. because even though they're exploding, uh, merchants, retailers, they're finding difficulty in either fulfilling orders now, cause they just can't, they either can't mm-hmm. keep up with it. It's like black Friday every single day, um, or cyber Monday every single day, I should say. Um, but uh, then there's then there's obviously they're also having trouble with their suppliers and if and if they can actually get product uh, get inventory back on their top sellers and everything along those lines, um, it, it's 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 one of the weirdest things and I'm I'm just in general obviously one of the weirdest things we're we're probably ever going to experience in our entire lives but uh, watching what the impact that this has had on the industry and we we've seen it we've seen that like shock point where uh, merchants have to start to scale back a lot of their advertising. Uh, the larger scale merchants are starting to, you know, for uh, programs, are, affiliate programs are starting to be shut down because even the large big box retailers can't uh, keep the affiliate um, uh, programs open because they can't sell. They they can't, obviously can't divvy out much more commission or 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 more um, or more percentages out to those retailers. Um, it's a it's a resounding resounding experience. I was just speaking with. Uh, Robert Rand, who's over a uh, director of uh, partnerships and alliances over at Jet Rails or a, a big um, uh, enterprise e-commerce hosting company, uh, working with a lot of Magento store owners. And, you know, he shared with me a lot of some, some of the things that he was seeing, you know, what, what the biggest thing I noticed is that um, uh, web now, especially uh, store owners really need to be focusing in on uh, how can they make their websites more user-friendly and, and improve the user experience 
because even the retailers are in not necessarily in those essential spaces or those most desired products. Now is the time to be jumping in and looking at ways to improve their on-site experience, reducing page load times, um, uh, improving their site navigation, uh, you know, figuring out ways to to uh, remove interstitials or, or, or stop barriers in their checkout processes. Um, it might even be a time to start doing a, a deeper audit of their past advertising, looking back at years ago and, and what they were doing and when it was working for them, when it wasn't, uh, and trying to adapt that into their strategies moving forward. Um, I don't personally... Yeah, I, don't I do, totally get it. I don't do a lot of online shopping myself. So I, I, it's, I have a hard time putting myself in the shoes of, of, of a shopper. Um, but I certainly see why people at home are ordering certain products versus others. Um, I can certainly see why things like, you know, I, and, and I think this is something that Brian, obviously our CTO, our CIO has uh, chimed in on is how fulfillment is going to play an incredibly important role after it's all said and done. And it's not necessarily about getting people to your store, getting them to purchase everything else, but, but offering them um, a better experience, even if it's, even if, you know, and, 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 and through that, through, especially through fulfillment, being able to get a, pro and, and, and like we said, it's not rocket science. It's about getting a product and putting it, you know, getting a package, putting it in your trunk and driving it to place, but how they can look to, you know, now and, and, and after it's all centered on how they can look to improve their, their fulfillment experience with their customers and how that will, I, I think will drive, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, the experience for shoppers, especially on e-commerce businesses, uh, coming up right after. Hopefully, this all ends soon. You know, uh, <laughs> we're all hoping. It, it seems to be that we're flattening the curve across the board. Um, I don't know how 100% true that is because I've I've been seeing a lot of mixed uh, information, and I keep telling people, Nikki, just just stay informed. Um, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I've been getting a lot of like some of the best advice I've heard from our staff and other people is to stop watching the news, shut the news off. Um, all that negativity and all that misinformation out there can really start to cloud your judgment and cloud all the information. And I would say for e-commerce businesses, especially, um, just don't let fear or, or, or uncertainty, um, take over and govern the conversation or, or govern your thoughts. Um, because, you know, and, and I've been hearing it, marketers, agencies, like stop average, like, why would you stop advertising? Don't stop advertising. Um, and we're not saying that we're saying, you know, it's dependent no. it depends on your situation, you know? Yeah. Um, well, you hit a lot of points there. One was, uh, <laughs> who's, whose you, show is this? Uh, you're saying about like, you know, by the way, equipment. everybody, welcome to the Nikki <laughs> show. Um, I'm done. I'm, I'm quitting. Uh, they I'm fired. <laughs> Uh, Tony's no more. It's the Nikki, Nikki B show. show. <laughs> Nikki is taking over. Well, you did hit a lot of points. I am, I'm, you know, going off of you. It's, it's all about the energy and sharing the energy. Come back. <laughs> yeah, come back in. It's like the Brady Bunch. Just come back into the square. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, I was gonna go off of what you said first of all, you're saying the kettlebell kettlebells. Like I think even outside of this pandemic, we do go through booms. We do, like uh, I think the only part about this pandemic is that we weren't pre prepared for it. Like how Black Friday we get prepared for it. Um even Christmas and July sales we're getting prepared for it. For this we just were not prepared for something like this. Um but it's it hurting industries like Yes, some will hurt, but some will automatically boom. Like we first we saw like equipments for gyms and um, fitness stuff was all coming in. Now over the weekend, we're seeing hair products and self beauty tips and hair masks. Like that's the next boom. So mm -hmm. everything that involves customers um, will give you that. Right. Um, another thing outside of it is like uh, for those industries aren't working. So uh, as you may not know, but I do have a weekend job as well, and it's dealing with wedding events, and that is I do is know this. Hurting. We had a, we talked about this. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that industry is hurting. The beauty yes. services or industry is hurting. That's um, and honestly, I wish we could do something for them because my hairdresser knows how to keep me in check. <laughs> and like. <laughs> And it's also like the service you get. Like, uh, remember you were saying earlier about like having a good customer service. 
honestly, in life, I don't think I've ever chose something or loved something if I didn't have the proper service. And yep. we are doing that with our clients and our customers and strive for our clients to do the same. Um, give that proper customer service. Uh, when you are out, like even if you're in a downtime, let's see what else you can do. Utilize yep. your sources. Out of the box know, thinking. Profit where you can. So when you turn that on switch, it's not like going to be a little burst of flame. You'll end up with like fireworks. I love it. That's probably the best analogy I've heard. Um, I don't know how it's, that's definitely it girl. You got it. It's a, right it's a Nikki. Yeah. We should just put it on the bottom. Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, <fireworks>. this, Nikki <laughs> this whole thing just exploded. Um, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. I mean, uh, I, I, I think merchants need to start thinking out of the box. I think they, and as you said, like the, 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 the beauty, the, the beauty sector, the hair products, the, the, the skincare products, I think, um, mm -hmm. I think retailers should start adapting more video and, and more, uh, like almost like, uh, uh demos or, or user experiences, you know, showing people. And yep. I think they can get a lot from that, you know, which then they can use to their advantage because as long as they have things like remarketing tags on their website, you know, just getting organic mm -hmm. traffic or video traffic or, 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 or something along those lines into the store, their advertising can kick on and they don't necessarily need to spend a lot to recapture an audience as long as they have the, the proper setup for their store. Yeah. And as I said, sir, this will go a long way. Yep. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. I mean, Hey, that's, that's all, that's, that's all it is. It's, it's a hundred percent people first at this point, you know, we're, we're a people first company and we keep kind of keep trying to drive this home to people. I keep trying to, to get people to understand, but, um, companies, businesses, their, 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 their technology, their, their infrastructure, their software, they're all those things, but you want to know what it behind it all underneath it all it's people. There are people there, there are people helping, there are people supporting, there are people working, you know, you have your frontline fighters, you have, you, you know, people like your sister, big, big shout out to your sister and your, and of course, mom, mom gets a biggest shout out of all your sister, as much mom, as she, mom has, mom's, mom's mom, keeping the rest of them safe. <laughs> exactly. Mom's, mom's is at home, keep, you know, keeping her safe and keeping everybody else safe yep. and keeping herself safe. It's incredible. Absolutely. What does your sister work out of? Uh, she's in LIJ, so she's in North Shore. So they, she was telling me actually over the weekend. Which, um, which, which, Northwell. So which, but which, uh, which hospital though? She's, I'm assuming she's the LIJ in, in Lake Coast Lake Success, the one that. Oh, Lake oh, Colorado. okay, okay, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, is it she still was telling is it still called an LIJ or is it a? I thought it was Northwell Health now. Yeah, it's Northwell Health is the umbrella. And then yeah. uh, LIJ is the, uh, that particular location. And it's like, oh, it's Manhattan still location. called LIJ. Okay. All right, cool. cool. Or the Lake Success one. That's how, like, I don't know. City folks know it that No, way. no. We're, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm putting a link in the description. I'm going to find, if anybody here is watching from locally or if you're across, like, our frontline fighters need your support. Um, if you, if you have an opportunity, if you're donating right now, if you're looking to do some charitable fund right like, just, just you know, I've been sharing it. We've shared some, some GoFundMes we've shared. Um, I know Arthur's wife works out of St. Mary's children's hospital. We shared that recently yep. earlier today. I mean, uh, we're trying to, to give, help people. And just to give a perspective on it. Um, she's saying that the entire hospital, except for one floor is all COVID patients maxed wow. out. Wow. And she said the break, even like, so everything you hear in whatever's going on, and there is an alarm that goes off when somebody passes away. Oh. And there was one time it was constantly going off that she couldn't eat. Like she just, it was just, it's so sad. It's so depressing. So even those who are working, like, honestly, if there's an energy that you can, cause yes, we are people, we are people, we're for people, but people give that energy. We're people powered. Yep. Yep. So if you give out the right energy, you're going to get it back. So that's why I'm, I'm energy powered. So that's let's it. just take it. Done. <laughs> just take done. it. I got enough. <laughs> done. Forget about it. I'm done. That's it. That's it. We're, we're no more, no more shows, no more episodes. We're done here. Nikki, Nikki covered everything. Uh, next time on the Nikki Beer Show. Um... <laughs> well, let, you know, uh, Ryan uh, gave me the nickname Nikki Beans. That's Nikki how I am on Slack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we call her Beans, everybody. I was like, I was just slacking. I got a Slack message. I didn't even know who she was, and I got a Slack from some person named Beans. And I'm just like, who? Well, because everybody uh, yes. on, on it's Office Squad knows me as Beans. So I was like, yeah, just put it as Beans. And if now anything, the entire internet. It. Now the entire internet we'll know will, will know you as beans. <laughs> <laughs>
But if you want to write me a check, just hit me up and I'll give you the right name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. TM. Um, <laughs> awesome. Nikki, it sounds like you're doing great. Again, you look great. You're staying fit. You're staying healthy. Uh, yeah, you know. it's all, it's, it's like balance. Like, um, remember, uh, I was on another point. It's like, you, there is watching the TV and knowing and watching, but you also have to balance yourself. Like, yes, you should watch a little bit to know what's going on, but no, there's other parts to like, you know, eat right, drink right. Um, like I have my water here with lemon and ginger, like, you know, keep it, keep Google it all partners. nice and fit. Oh yeah. Google partners. <laughs> yeah. Keep it. Fit, get it right um because that's another way you can help yourself yep. right drinking my lemon water I might get my vitamin c in there get your vitamin c detox like the not getting no no quarantine ounces i'm i'm gonna get cut from this oh actually me <laughs> and arthur have a um a bet going on who's gonna have a six pack first by the end of june that's not fair. So watch out. He already had. I'm I think he already, had, this, he already had one. <laughs> no, no, no. I I already checked. He had dad belly. Um. So I'm working that as my advantage. <laughs> oh, Sorry, and Arthur's not gonna like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he is. He is. He is hitting his bag again. So I don't know what's gonna come after. He's gonna. We get that set up and start hitting. So I'm like, damn, I gotta start working on. I have my, my kettlebell here. I'm just gonna like, you know, start doing crunches and stuff. <laughs> awesome. No pay, awesome. no gain. Well, it sounds like you're staying healthy. It sounds like you're staying fit. You know, mm -hmm. get you know, let, not letting the mounts come on. <laughs> but you know, Nick, yeah, like out. I've had a... out the virus, sweat out everything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've had an awesome time. I mean, this has been awesome. I, I, I it was probably the most uh, lively conversation I've had thus far. You've, you've, you've kept it real. Woo, fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> you kept it real. I'm, I, I'm hoping this resonates with everybody out there. Nikki B, uh, Nikki Beans, um, aka Nikki Beer, <laughs> aka Beans, um, joining me live from uh, her apartment uh, on the yoga mat with the kettlebells, um, mm -hmm. and with her. You're, I, I, it wasn't up until now that I actually read what your shirt said. Wow. Oh, and staying in the new going out. Staying the new going out. She's rocking yeah. the shirt, everybody. Everybody oh has their God. sales and order shirt. I haven't got mine yet, being like the notorious <laughs> rookie. So, right in the office, time. get your ladies V-neck. I promise. I'll go, I'll go get it for you. Um, so make sure it fits me. I'm an extra small because, you know, I waistline will, ain't going nowhere. Will, if, if I have to, I'll wash it in super hot water and dry it on, 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 <laughs> on the hell setting. <laughs> hell setting. But Nikki, thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. Uh, we coming to you soon. Check out the description below. I'm going to be sharing some links uh, live from Nikki and her sister working real hard, keeping us safe, saving lives. Uh, mad props to mama one more time. Uh, Nikki, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good week. Obviously, you know, the weather's a little cruddy out, but hopefully everything cleans up pretty soon and we'll be having fun outside once again. Yep. We All right, are. everybody. Signing out. Have a good one. And thank you again for joining me. As always, fireworks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>